Praise God, praise God. The title of today's message is God is Omni. Let's look at Romans chapter 8. I'm going to start at verse 34 and we're going to amplify a classic version. And yes, we have a few, few verses. <laughs> Just stick with me. Praise God. Verse 34. Who is there to condemn us? Will Christ Jesus, the Messiah, who died, or rather who was raised from the dead, who is at the right hand of God actually pleading as he intercedes for us? Who shall, who shall ever separate us from Christ's love? Shall suffering and affliction and tribulation, or calamity and distress, or persecution or hunger or destitution or peril or sword? Even as it is written, for thy sake we are put to death all the day long. We are regarded and counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet amid all these things, we are more than conquerors and gain a surpassing victory through him who loved us. For I am persuaded beyond doubt am sure that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor things impending and threatening nor things to come nor powers nor height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Now, omni is actually a Latin word meaning all or everything. It is used in compound form and examples of this for believers in Christ Jesus would be omniscient, all knowing, omnipotent, all power, omnipresent, all and everywhere. The, these are attributed to the Lord our God. He is all-knowing, knowing what we need and providing, fixing, restoring, amending, offering his love, compassion, forgiveness, and all the other things of his nature and characteristics. He is all power, powerful. There is nothing greater or more powerful than he. With this understanding, we can know that not only does he know, see, and promise, revealing his plan and purpose, but he has the power and ability and authority to accomplish and complete his will for us and in our lives. He is all and ever present. He does not send us on in the revelation of his will for us. He accompanies us. There is never a time when we are going alone or standing alone. There may be occasions where, hmm, let's see, where it appears, it may appear as though, you know, we're fighting a battle alone, dealing with the challenge all alone, as though we have to figure things out on our own, making our own way. <laughs> this is what the Lord has put on my heart to address today. It is what is on his heart for you to remain mindful of what he wants you to know and grab hold of, the confidence in which he wants you to go by, the way in which he established for you to, to, to go forth in purpose and will. You are not ever alone. The Lord God Almighty is with you. The Godhead, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the fullness of God is with you always and in every way, in every place and at all times. Take that in and ruminate, ponder, consider that. Have a salah moment, hey. <laughs> Take ownership of this truth. God is omni and that omni is with you. And may I add, he is in you. Omni is in you, born again believer in Jesus Christ. Now go, get it done. In the name of Jesus, go, amen. Now, as I was finishing this up, the Lord put this prophetic message on my heart to, um, gave me this prophetic message to deliver. Look up, see me, know that I am with you and for you. It is disturbing to see my children distressed and spinning their wheels in toil, seeking answers everywhere but in me, misconstruing faith as forbidden to admit the need for, for assistance. Spend that time with me in intimacy, in consistent manner. Seek me first. I have the way for you to be, go, and do. Seek me for where to go. Seek me for guidance to where and in whom I have placed my answers, remedy, and counsel. Those to whom are to come alongside you in your life and its Christian walk. Get off the hamster wheel of busyness. Get out of forlorn complacency of overwhelming distress. 
continue, continue in me, seeking me. Come to me for the strength to shake yourself, dust yourself off, breathe, and continue in my way, regardless of what's li what life's happening stir up, Satan's portrayals of deception and lies, and or the current state of fruitlessness. Continue in my way, fish again, cast your nets again. What I reveal, written in my word and spoken to your heart must come to pass. I have said it, now let us together go do this, amen. Father God, thank you for your word today. We thank you, Father, that you are faithful to us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for reminding us of who you, who God is, our Father. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us mindful that we have the power to do every single thing the Lord has put on our heart to do. And your word is our foundation. We give you all the honor and glory, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.